So today I wanna to talk about a topic that so many of us can relate to and that is dressing an apron belly. If you have one, you probably didn't know it had an official term. So if you're wondering, TG, what's an apron belly? I'll tell you, stay a while. Welcome, I'm Chi Chi if you're new. If you're returning, show the new kids how we treat family around here. Here, we're all about celebrating style, self-expression, and fabulous fashion. So if you love fashion, beauty, and the occasional vlog, then you found your tribe. So an apron belly refers to a larger sagging belly. So towards the bottom half of your belly that can happen due to a lot of factors, including weight gain, pregnancy, or other factors. Some people have misdubbed it the fupa, other people have dubbed it the mommy tummy, just that extra piece of belly that happens to hang around, okay? <laughs> For most women, post-pregnancy. Honestly, dressing an apron belly can be challenging. I know after I had my son, pretty young in age, okay, it really affected my self-esteem. But I think it's important to remember that there is no right way to dress your body. However, there are a few things, in my opinion, to avoid if you want to feel confident and comfortable in your clothes. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing five things to avoid when dressing your apron belly, along with some tips and tricks to help you feel your best. Before we get into it, <laughs> let's talk about the outfit. So this top that I have on, I feel like it's like a viral top. I'm calling it viral from Amazon. I've seen all the girlies wear it. I am wearing the largest size they have available. I'm not sure if it's a 2XL or extra large. I will say I am between 18 and 20. So if you're anything larger than the small 18 up top, I'd leave it alone because I am wearing this top. Okay, I am stretching it to its limits, especially around the shoulders. So if you have broader shoulders, i probably pass on this one, but it comes in so many fun, juicy colors, as well as neutrals. I went with pink. Tell me I'm not being influenced by Barbie core. And as far as jewelry, I'm wearing my go-to jewelry. This is the Oro necklace from Maureen Costello. It is sold out, but I will link similar necklaces for you in the description of this video. Same thing for my arm candy. It is the same. Amazon, Amazon, more Amazon, and Maureen Costello. <laughs> and then for jeans, I am wearing one of my new favorite pairs right now. It is the Palazzo jeans from Good American. I'm wearing a size 18. It does stretch out, so if you're in between sizes, I would size down. I'm actually thinking of getting this top in the neon green color. Comment down below, let me know which color would you get this top in. Now let's get started. The first one is gonna be avoid ultra high waist pants. Now, if you know me, you know your girl loves a high waist pant. However, anything that goes above your natural waist will draw attention to your stomach directly because there will be a lot of fabric between your crotch and the midpoint of your underbust. Anything that goes above your natural waist and moves up to the underbust will have a lot of surface area, which will draw attention to your belly. For some women, it makes them look pregnant. For other women, it just really highlights that lower piece of skin underneath the bottom. So you want to stay away from ultra high waist pieces. My rule of thumb is that your, your trouser or your pant should fall slightly above your belly button. In my opinion, is the optimum position for someone with an apron belly. Now, I'll be the first to say that this takes some trial and error. Try it on, see how you feel about it. If you feel like it's drawing attention there, then you probably shouldn't be wearing it. For number two, I would say avoid tight fitting clothing. <laughs> especially around your lower midsection. This is probably very much not a nuanced tip, but I find that if you do have a lot going on in that midsection, in that area, if you wear like pencil skirts that are tight or any skirts, specifically skirts and dresses tend to be the ones that really highlight that area. If you 
don't get your sizing right in that area, it will draw attention. My biggest tip for my ladies who love pencil skirts or like to wear dresses is to actually size up in the dress and go to a tailor and have them fit the hips to your regular silhouette, but give you some extra room in the belly. When shopping, it's important to remember that you want to avoid pieces that are unstructured and thin and provide little support in that area. And let's put a pin on that because I'll share a little bit more on this later. And now I'm not saying that you shouldn't wear clothing that accentuates your curves or just makes you feel sexy. There's so many cuts and styles that you can opt for that really help to highlight your assets like bias cut skirts and dresses instead of a pencil skirt or wrap styles as well as fit and flare silhouettes. And just like you want to avoid ultra high waist pieces, you also want to avoid low waist jeans and pants. Low waist or low rise jeans and pants tend to hit at the apex between your lower stomach and your pubic area. And unless your goal is to highlight your muffin tops or your saddlebags and you know that extra bit of loose belly in that area or the sagginess of the belly in that area, I would avoid <laughs> that style altogether. Rise is key when it comes to selecting bottoms and pants when you have an apron belly. And yes, it will take some trial and error based on the way your body is shaped and your belly is shaped to find what works best for you. My biggest tip for that is when you do find something that you feel fabulous in that really works with your shape that you buy more than once because we all know that brands like to discontinue styles altogether and you definitely don't want to be kicking yourself when you no longer have access to it. So buy more than once is. A backup is a good idea. If you have a similar shape to mine, one of my favorite styles right now are going to be wide leg trousers and specifically ones that have pleats and darting around the belly to give me a little bit more extra fabric that helps to camouflage that area. Avoid undergarments with no belly or tummy support. What you have underneath your clothing, your foundation is just as important as the clothing you wear. You should be investing in your foundation just like you invest in the clothing that you wear because that creates the canvas that your clothing lays on top of. Now, I know we used to give grandma and mama a hard time about wearing grandma drawers, but there was a reason why they wore them drawers because those drawers help to keep everything in control. I know we want to be young and youthful and feel, you know, sexy in our undergarments. Even with that in mind, you want to start looking for undergarments that have built-in technology that helps to control that tummy area. Even if you opt for a thong, for example, you want to opt for thongs with, you know, a higher waist so you know you're having some control around the belly. So even cheeky underwear that give you like additional paneling, control, banding in the belly area. And it's super easy to figure this out. And if you don't know where to find underwear like this, I know Spanx makes some really great options. They're like, around, I think it's in their thin stinks line that really give you that additional control around the belly. Nine times out of 10, a lot of these brands will put that control or tummy control or some of that kind of language in the name of the product. So you know that this will give you that additional support. Now for me, like I said, I love a good thong. And one of my favorite brands for this is skims they make like a mid-rise and a high-rise thong what i like about both thongs is that you get an, enough fabric first of all okay they have enough fabric for grown women but also it's kind of like a power mesh that gives you a little bit of control like i'm not saying walk around and be constricted you know and wear a whole full-on suit that's not what i'm saying because that's not comfortable especially in the warmer months but i do think it's important that if your goal is to minimize that area wearing undergarments with some form of of control in that area will make a world of difference, be a game changer when it comes to getting dressed. And I think the biggest tip, okay, that I can give you when it comes to dressing around apron belly and what to avoid when you have a fupa is negative self-talk. Avoid negative self-talk. Whether you've gained weight, whether you've lost weight, whether you've, you know, had a baby, whether it's medication or you've gone through a pregnancy. First of all, if you gain an apron belly after a pregnancy, realize that 
you have a reminder, a daily reminder of the miraculous work your body did, right? And take that as a souvenir for something that you should be proud of because not everyone can do what you've done. Right? But even if it's just from weight loss or weight gain or other myriad factors, realize that the fact that your body allows you to do great things every day. The fact that you're watching this video, you can breathe in, you can breathe out, you can pursue your dreams, you can take care of those people you love. All of that is the gift that your body gives you every day. No one is perfect and it's our imperfections that make us special, right? And so even if you can't say anything nice or you don't see anything nice when you look in the mirror getting in the habit of stopping that negative self-talk when it comes in will really help with your body confidence and help you get on a path to self-love and acceptance think about all the wonderful things you get to do because of your body and celebrate yourself and celebrate your body daily for that remember the most important thing is to dress for your own comfort and confidence don't be like I tell you what to wear including me <laughs> however I do hope that these tips will help you feel and look your best when you're dressed if you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fashion and self-love content and as always I love chatting with you leave me a comment down below with your thoughts and other topics you would like for me to discuss in future video don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share and until next time stay blessed